I'm Stuart, and welcome to the Triumph Factory Visitor Experience, which is currently closed during this difficult time. I'm here as part of our essential operations team, and with me is my colleague Julian, who's filming this from more than two metres away. We thought we'd take the opportunity, uh, whilst we've got full access to the facility while it's closed, to share a few stories and, and show you around. Uh, you'll get to see some bits that you'd see if you came to the visitor experience yourself. Now this is to help you get your biking fix until the next time we can all go out riding. Right, wanna start with the all new Rocket 3. Um, I'm gonna give you a bit of insight here. Um, this is much more than telling you about the bike. I'll tell you a little bit about the background and how we design motorcycles. So, let's start with the engine. The heart of this bike is an all new two and a half litre inline three cylinder engine. You can see here, um, one, two, three cylinders in line, unusually in line with a bike. Designing a bike is all about the whole. It's not just about designing an engine or designing a chassis. Everything has to work together. So to package this extremely large engine in a motorcycle that you want to handle, put the three cylinders in line, makes it a much, much nicer package. Okay, let's start with a bit of perspective. This is the piston, conrod and crankshaft for the Rocket 3, the new Rocket 3. 110 millimeter piston diameter, okay? Now the perspective next to it, we've got the much smaller Street Triple and Daytona 765 uh, pistons, conrods and crankshafts. Now that engine, in the mo that is also sizes used in the Moto2 engine, produces over 140 PS. Now, the Rocket motor is not all about power, 167 PS, but it's about torque, 221 newton meters, which is why we have such large pistons. It's all about character. It's all about getting effortless performance on the road. And it's glorious, really, really nice to ride. Making performance isn't everything. Um, we obviously engineer performance, but we're also engineering um, beautiful finishes. So if you have a look here, we've got the header system, which is manually TIG welded, hydroformed, six hydroformed components, all TIG welded together. Partly about packaging, partly about performance, and all about the value and look and beautiful quality. Some more engine internal components. We've got a cutaway bike here on display. Let's have a look inside it. Okay, so this is the cutaway, which is a really good opportunity to see what's inside a rocket, but also see how all the parts work together. Now, when we're designing a bike, everything's integrated. We're trying to make components do more than one job, if at all possible. So a good example of this is the frame. We've got a cast hollow spine frame. Um, the air for the engine is taken in through vents both sides, through the center of the spine, through an air filter, through three intake pipes into another plenum, and then through the three throttle bodies directly into the cylinder head. That's where you make power. Pistons push the conrods, rotate, which rotate the crankshaft. Now the crankshaft is geared directly to the clutch. The clutch is at the front of the engine. Now from this point on, all the power flows to the back wheel. So we've got the clutch attached to the input shaft of the engine. The input shaft attaches to the output shaft, full helical gearbox, through a cush drive, a hooks joint, through a prop shaft, and to a bevel box at the back, and that drives the back wheel, okay? So that's how you get all that torque to the rear wheel. So that's a small part of the new Rocket 3 story. There's so much more to learn about the bikes here at the Factory Experience or online about any of our bikes. Um, watch out for more stories. We'll try and film some more today. Um, thank you for watching and be safe.